Well, good uh, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Today we have some bus maintenance things in mind. We're gonna be replacing a wheel bearing here, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully that goes well. Um, and replacing a wheel seal, which is probably the reason why the bearing failed. I do check my oil often, but uh, as you remember in that last episode, uh, it was humming pretty bad. Oh, that 3,000 miles, it was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. So the other thing we're gonna do is also try and replace the shocks all around. We wanna improve the ride. Helping us today, we've got Coco here. She's gonna be helping us, and later JD should be showing up. He's been in a couple of our videos, and uh, hopefully he can help us out and get this done a little bit faster. Oh, who's here, Coconut? I know, hi Coco. Oh, well, my dear. Oh, well, look who finally showed up. I know, after, oh boy. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I had to have a lot of coffee. Well, I suppose. <laughs> Cause we're uh, we're doing what spinners? Uh, yeah, the spinner parts, okay. the the bouncy parts, and the uh, the leaky parts. That might be the whole bus. <laughs> Stick around because he was right. All right, we got the uh, wheel kind of jacked up. JD jacked brought up. his uh, <laughs> new fancy pants. Uh, Brand new Ryobi uh, pre-release, not sponsored. Uh, let's. Half inch impact, is that? Uh, yep, half inch. On the box it said uh, 1160 pounds uh, breakaway. All right. Force. <clears throat> Hopefully your lug nuts aren't on that tight. All right, well, let's see if it uh, pops them off. Oh, which way are we spinning these bad I think boys? these are the op left hand side, I think. Wow. Look at that. There it goes. Spun her off. There's one. All right, well, we're gonna take care of the rest of these. <laughs> there we go. All right, you ready for me to pull the bottom out? Oh, sure. How did we get it up there the first time? Yeah. I think I, uh, oh. Right, tip it and then. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, it was good. Wear gloves today. Good right? grief. Well, I think last time we had a spacer in there. Oh yeah, lifting the whole frame up, yeah, didn't we? I didn't we? do that this time, I should have. Oh. Well, or, really? yeah. or what's it hung up on? Just, Is it just come off. Trim? Yeah, I gotta put that back on. That's another thing. Gotcha. I thought I was like destroying this. Oh. Oh yeah, your there last, we go. Your last video, yeah, that first part of it, you were sounding like super Minnesotan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there you go. Yep, you betcha. <laughs> what was what, in, what was I doing? I don't remember what. I remember just watching it <laughs> and I was laughing. Oh. It's like good grief. <laughs> Are you from Canada, eh? Oh yeah, I don't you know. Mm-hmm. Done yet? Almost. I don't see why you're so concerned with going greaseless. The viscosity of this is basically grease, not oil anymore. <laughs> Well, that's well. I've been putting in uh, thicker stuff than maybe I should have to try and slow down the leak. <laughs> oh, it looks like everybody else was doing. Uh, yeah, the Haggai. I think they uh, used an air chisel on a few places trying to bust it loose. Uh, this does not fit on it. I no. Have, I think it's mainly due because there's. I don't know if it's the wrong size or if it's. No, actually. Oh, because it's, like it's the. the well, it's. I think it's because of these. It looks like the corners don't. That's a little confusing. Why would they do that with the Because this is for a Ford uh, axle nut. Oh, this isn't a Ford bus, is it? No, but I can probably get a pipe wrench on that. So it looks like everybody else uses air chisels on these, huh? He's got enough uh, notches. Yeah, I got uh, two of the three drum you know, uh, screws off. I wonder what that's from. I think that's uh, the um, RTV from that uh, got oh. sunk in the screw holes. They I, th I thought I thought you weren't supposed to do our, our TV on there. Why? I don't, I don't know. That's what I did on my bus. Okay. Well, yours is guys that know more about buses than I do. They're like, I oh, yeah, just lather up with our TV, <laughs> slap it back on, and and I have gone a few miles and it hasn't had a problem. So I need to spin this way. Correct. Am I doing it? 
look at that. That works way easier than just chiseling at this thing. But you don't damage the nut as much when you do it this way. I know. Where's the fun it, in that? Definitely lose some street cred by not hanging on it. Well, parts of it look blue, so that means it got hot. Honestly, just with the damage on that, it looks like it, I, I, I wouldn't think a bus company would have uh, chiseled the snot out of that nut like that. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so next step. Okay, get a video of the sequence of all of these things. <laughs> Not that I've ever taken something apart and forgot how to put it back together, but. Here comes, maybe we'll just layer them on top of each other. That way we know the order. Or we'll reverse order. Stack them. Ah, oh, here we go. Take my gloves off. I don't want to ruin these things. These are my nice five dollar ones. All right. We decide that it's wise to try and take off the brake drum, but not before this conversation. Do you have toilet paper out here just in case you have an accident? No, I've been fighting a cold a little bit, so I'm gonna blow my nose every now and again. Have you ever heard of a hanky? That seems gross to me. Really? Why? It's only gross if you share it with somebody. Wow, bless you. Bless you again. You okay over there? Yeah. You need a hug? Meanwhile, JD is hard at work and I can't find any tools. Where would I... If I was an angle grinder, where would I be? Okay, that's where I put... How am I missing my, just my angle grinder? It's gotta be somewhere stupid. Have you tried the bathroom? Not yet. All right, we got to go check out and see what Sean's working on over here. What are you doing over there? Uh, the we're, I'm making a tool. We need a custom creations. Yeah, we need a flat end uh, bit to take the uh, whatever the brake, the, the stoppy parts off. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh crap, I'm using a, I was cutting the wrong end. Right? Or no, no. No, that is the right end. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Don't uh, doubt yourself. Uh, under the pressure of the camera, I was doubting myself there. And I'm doing it on the diagonal so that the blade is longer. Oh, you're smart. That's gonna be hot. Just a bit? I don't know. You think that'll work? That looks beautiful. <laughs> Man. I don't know, let's give it a try. Should have gone into metalworking. Me? You! Very nice. Well, uh, I mean, with your custom air dams on your bus and everything. <sighs> so what? It spins the normal out way? Uh, the other ones did. Although, to be honest, that one looks like it might be cross threaded in there. Like the way it's setting, it's setting a little sideways. Did it snap? No, just a little, the little oh, uh, retainy, retainy ball part came out. Oh, that uh, allows better airflow, so it stays cooler now. We're battling a single retaining screw holding the brake drum on. It won't come off without a fight, but we're not giving up. Probably gonna need you to. Maybe film it. Okay. No, squirt, I'll squirt a little WD-40 on it, or Sounds hopefully, good. I, hopefully I don't bust the tip on this. Oh yeah, because it's got the edges. Oh. What if you try reversing it? See if it'll uh, like Make wear it down easy. enough to. I gotta be centered. It's not making great progress. And last time I was trying to drill into it, it wasn't. Yeah, stop flying still. That's gonna be a lot. That is gonna be a little bit. I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm not quick to this. So that's the right approach. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, you got a big disc. I don't know. I wonder if I can just make like take a socket and cut slots in it, and maybe that would be enough. 
You know what I'm saying? Just enough to grab those edges? Yeah. yeah. I could sacrifice a socket for that. JD has a more seasoned approach, trying to chisel the screw out. I'm still stubbornly trying different methods. your metric thing people say you shouldn't use a uh, metric or you can't use metric on this but <laughs> we're gonna try a 15 millimeter 15 millimeter on that yeah uh, it's gonna be amazing that's the tool I made to hopefully take that out we'll see These what are, ears are strong enough is that, what, is that what the term would be a button to do something else one sure give that a try It looks like it's spinning this way. Oh, yeah. Let's try that. Uh, it popped off the air. <clears throat> it turns out tried and true methods are tried and true for a reason. I'm still waiting on my inverter to get fixed. Oh, or which that, one? That terminal that was stripped out. Yeah. <laughs> Took them a week and they got back to me again finally. Send us a video of the original problem again. No, the original problem is not existent anymore. moving? I feel like it looks That's like... That's moving. That's moving. You yeah, see buddy. All right. Keep clapping. There she goes. All right, let's spin it and it's wobbling out. Um, take the the bearings out. We could take the whole hub and set it down mm. on the ground. Then we can right. slap on those to get the drum off. Sure. All right. This we got to spin this guy off, right? Yep. That thing spins off, and I think that's oh, there's another plate thing behind it. Now behind there's the bearings. The way it's set, we might have to just pull the whole drum and the bearings come with it. Or did that break it? Oh, that look at that. Now this bearing does not look horrible. Does it? I'm not seeing any grooves in it or anything really. No. Maybe it's the inner. It looks fine. Yeah, we can check the inner. Well, you got a new one. Did you get new inner and outer? Yeah. Okay. Or I'm pretty sure I did. How much are they? Were they crazy expensive? I don't know. Oh. It's just money. I was just like, oh, whatever it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. Yeah. But. So these usually weigh, uh, I think, uh, well over five pounds. I think we just pull it out. You see what happens? Uh, sure. Yeah, it's coming. Or maybe underneath. Oh, yeah, Sorry. that'd probably be a good idea. Yeah, I got this. Oh, jeez, that's heavy. Okay. Well? Yeah, I think it's safe to say that uh, it was leaking with just the shade. Yep. Oh, it's leaking. Uh, I suppose we're going to oh, try to separate hey. it. Oh, yeah, that's loose. Something's, oh, that's, is that supposed to? Yeah, that's the bearing. We can take it out this side. Uh, I don't think we can. Can we? Does that not fit? The, oh, yeah. We might have to take the seal out. Which we have to do anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's the main thing. Uh, do you have the new seal? Yeah. Let's just take a look at it and we can make sure it's the right thing and which way it's supposed to go. That, is that the right size? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's so this flange, this outside wonder if that flange whole thing comes, comes off. off. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then it seats. Where's that on the inside? Oh, oh so that back. lip. Yeah, that must be that lip. Bearing side, yeah, it says bearing side, so. Okay. So, well, this is probably, who knows if it's ever been changed, so maybe we drive on it here. Oh, here, here it is. It. Actually, I think it's right here. I think it's this seam right here. That has been on there for a very long time. I don't know if we could pull it out. Uh, 
So you might have to, you know, where you wedge it in, one side is grabbing that, one side's out, and then hit it to pop the other side. Like? Yeah, like that type kind of a thing. And then if you hit it that way. I don't know, I mean, you know if it's rusted though. like this, I don't know that we're that ain't gonna... moving it very easily. So we took a break there while we sorted this out. This, Look we got that. The, yeah, we could reuse it. Yeah, yeah this, is, this <laughs> is still good, I think. We'll put that in the uh, spare parts bin. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the uh, old uh, crowbar, cobalt crowbar seemed to work. Mm -hmm. Now, if none of these bearings are bad, I'm going to be kind of upset. These don't look horrible either. How are they feeling? It feels fine. The race feels okay. I don't know, was I putting too thick of oil in there or what? Maybe? Do you think that was tire hum? <sighs> Could be. Well, I don't know. I, I needed to replace, the, well, the the seal was leaking, so might as well do mm -hmm. everything at that same time, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, toss them in. Well, yeah. Oh, oh you want to save parts, Ben? <sighs> yeah, well. I mean, I'd, I'd hold on to them. If, there, if there's not I mean, any in an emergency, sign. you know, if I actually, if one of these let go and I had to somehow change it in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. I'd want to at least have something, if not perfect, but yep. now it's driving out those races. Yep. <laughs> let the fun begin, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're putting the uh, bearing and races on hold for a moment while we decide if it's worth it to try and drive out the races or not. So JD's hard at work on a uh, shock. He's got it out and he's cleaning it up. He doesn't hear a word I'm saying. Ah! Uh, here's an old shock and new shock. Good news is they look like each other. I hope they don't. <laughs> well, they they're about the right. Well, they're about the same size, but one just looks 20 years older than the other. Oh yeah. So we'll get that guy in and All right. And then and then we'll be done in about a half an hour, I think. Ten minutes. Now JD here, he's an eagle owner. Uh -huh. And uh he says after we're done with this it might float down the road almost like an eagle. It'll be so close. Good thing this is a two man job. Uh someone's gotta do the work and then someone's got a video? Yeah, someone's gotta stand around and watch, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's what, hey no, you're working the Facebook. Oh asking yeah, the experts. I got. Uh, yeah, I got. I'm asking all the experts on the internet about what do what do we do here? It's always a fun sorting through the opinions. Oh, uh, I yeah, yeah. Which guys do you trust? Which ones don't you? I don't know. There's always like anything. There's doing it right, and then there's mm -hmm. what's good. You know. Did I ever tell you about the time I asked what uh, what weight oil to put in? Uh, uh, it's like a differential thing. Yeah. Go in there. Super smart guy, like one of the guys that you trust right away. Comments right away. I don't remember what he said. Some oil. So I run down to the hardware store. I mean, it takes me half an hour yeah. to get down there, half hour back. And uh, as soon as I get home, somebody else commented on it. Actually, you're thinking of the wrong thing. This is the oil you need. And then the guy I trust was like, oh, yeah, that's right. The other kind is the right kind. Oh. So I had to go back to the. You always get, yeah, you got to get a couple opinions. Yeah, that, yeah. I, I was just too trusting. But he corrected himself. Yeah, quick I was like, oh, you're right, I'm thinking of the other thing. That's all you can really ask for. Why don't you put the impact on the top one there? Or you, you like that wrench a lot? Yeah, well, it's quieter for the video, you know. Oh, that's true. Yeah, JD's, uh, this impact here is just ridiculous. You know, what, what uh, somebody said, if you got a lever big enough, you can move the world. I think if you got an impact big enough, you can cinch it down. I had to go and uh, run an errand quick, and what's he doing under there? Ugh. Well, we're not having quite as good a luck on this side. No? No. I even brought out the big dog inside. How are, how are you even... these things loose. How are you even in there? Uh, well, I just climbed under and then I sat up. Hello. Skinny people problems, I guess. Yeah. And it's, uh... 
it's a slightly different size nut. Really? On the, yeah, the 3 8. Although I wonder if it's metric, because the 3 8 is just slightly loose, but the, there's nothing metric on it. The inch here. and a quarter doesn't. I mean, all the rust is busted off of this now, and it's still oh. not. Well, I got that 3 8 wrench. Yeah. But maybe. I mean, I'm not. Maybe I'm, we should bust the uh, tire off on this side. Yeah, I think that might be uh, <laughs> the next course of action. I can get at everything easily here if these nuts would just get loose. Okay, so talk to the experts at Facebook. Uh, and uh, while well, I'm doing a, oh, I'm tell doing me a, the good news. I'm doing a video. I'm here too. Oh, okay, so this is. I thought I already mentioned this, JD. So JD's uh, down there. He can hear what we're talking about here. So got some advice from uh, people saying both ways. I reuse the races. Uh, well, actually, nobody said ah, just do it. But a lot of people saying you know oh you got to do it whatever. And I get that. I'm. I can understand that entirely, but at the same time, I feel like I got to be pragmatic. I don't, I'm not comfortable trying to pull, like, I don't want to have my bus in a state where I can't use it for a while. We got to try and, uh, we got some solar jobs we got to do, which we're going to be taking this on here pretty quick. So we got to get the bus set back up and running. And a couple of people have talked about, you know, if the races are in good shape, in a pinch, they have reused them. Uh, one of them is a good friend of mine, Dan. Uh, he seemed to seem like, or he seemed to say like that wasn't a problem. Uh, and they just inspected the bearings here recently and they're still in great shape. So I think I'm gonna do that, but that leads us to another problem. Where's that hum coming from? Because I thought my bearings were bad and they're not nearly in as bad shape as I would have expected them to be. I thought they were going to be pitting and all kinds of other things. You know? I know. So, I don't know. Hopefully it's shocks somehow. I don't know. But, or maybe I was putting too thick of oil in there. JD says my oil was about grease. <laughs> about the consistency of grease, the way it was uh, that, stringing out. Well, it. I was putting in some uh, Lucas oil stabilizer trying to, oh. trying to keep the leak to a minimum. I think you were successful in that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this thing buttoned back up and we're, uh, JD's working on the other shock as we saw earlier, so. I don't know, we'll see how far we get. <laughs> All right, so here's the race, the inner race, the big fat one. See how good, I mean, it, it looks in great shape. You know what, I'm gonna lie to you. I put in the new one, prove me wrong. Then here's the new bearing that's gonna go in. Pop that out. I cleaned that out real good with another rag. So I think we're good to put that in and then the seal. Sorry, but the GoPro battery died. We kept working and got it all back together and test drove it. Everything seemed to work good. We still have a long way to go and need to replace six more shocks and one more airbag. Except it really ends up being two airbags, but I didn't know that yet. So follow the next video or look for the next video and we'll see you then.